Good morning. It's Monday, March 30th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled Deepening, and our scripture is Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my plea. Answer me, because you are faithful and righteous. Don't put your servant on trial, for no one is innocent before you. My enemy has chased me, he's knocked me to the ground, and forces me to live in darkness like those in the grave. I am losing all hope. I'm paralyzed with fear. I remember the days of old. I ponder all your great works and think about what you've done. I lift my hands in prayer to you. I thirst for you as parched land thirsts for rain. Come quickly, Lord, and answer me, for my depression deepens. Don't turn away from me or I'll die. Let me hear of your unfailing love each morning, for I'm trusting you. Show me where to walk, for I give myself to you. Rescue me from my enemies, Lord. I run to you to hide me. Teach me to do your will, for you're my God. May your gracious spirit lead me forward on a firm footing. For the glory of your name, O Lord, preserve my life. Because of your faithfulness, bring me out of this distress. In your unfailing love, silence all my enemies and destroy all my foes, for I am your servant. Young David had been the rising star of Israel, having defeated Goliath, called to the palace to be advisor, spiritual mentor, and chief music therapist to King Saul. When David later wrote this psalm, he was remembering the aftermath of Saul's paranoid rage that drove David not only from the palace, but from any kind of life at all. David was hounded by Saul's armies, forced to live with the spiders and scorpions in caves, or just anywhere out of Saul's reach. In light of his reputation, position, calling, service, and his very life hanging by a thread, we can understand the future kings deepening into the downward spiral of depression. If you're one of those A-type, always up optimistic persons who has never had a down moment, blessed with an always full and running over glass, on behalf of the other 99.75% of the world, you are really annoying to the rest of us who live in reality. Now, Admittedly, that's not a very pastoral-sounding thing to say. You think, Russell? (laughs) The only problem with a pastor not saying that would be an ethical disconnect from truth. The fact remains that depression, either occasionally or as a lifelong battle, is part of the typical experience of fallen humanity. If you doubt that, you're behind on your Bible reading and or need a reality check. We live in an antidepressant saturated society, and it's deepening. I love old sayings, not just because I'm old. I've loved hearing them all my life. And one of those sayings is, misery loves company. But frankly, who wants another depressed person around when you're already hanging on for dear life? Answer, just about everybody. And with good reason. When you're depressed, who wants a Jack Russell Springer jumping up and down with a dog-toothy smile, wanting to play? No, we'd rather have a basset hound willing to just lay next to us with body heat and a slow pulse we can feel in rhythm with our own. We want someone who has or is walking where we're drowning. We don't want to be told, cheer up, it's a beautiful day. We want to be understood. Because whatever beauty God's created to see out there, on our inside, it's darker than midnight. For you today, King David walked there and he thought deeply about it. And he gives us the kind of lifeline that brings a little refreshing rain on the parched ground of souls that have been ground down like powder and swept away with the wind of chance. And David knows the only genuinely sane way out is the way of the upward. It's to take the deepening sense of depression and own it before God. Only there is the beginning of restoration. Let's face it, you can't climb out of the pit. You must be led out by the hand of one who has conquered it. So, if you're ready, he is.
You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.